Thank you and welcome to the show today. The topic today is higher education at the 21st century. And we're fortunate to have with us to talk about higher education at the 21st century, uh, Dr. E. Kelly Sanford. Uh, Dr. Sanford is a sociologist at Tennessee State University. And of course, Dr. Sanford, let me welcome you to uh, the show this morning. All right, thank you so very much for having me. And of course, we're glad to uh, have you with us uh, this morning, Dr. Sanford. Uh, we know that uh, the topic that we're going to deal with this morning in higher education at the 21st century is a very, very important topic. Absolutely. Uh, and what we'd like to do is to uh, get into a discussion in reference to what it means uh, to uh, be involved in higher education at the 21st century and some of the other aspects of higher education at the 21st century. But before we do that, uh, Dr. Sanford, let's see if we can have you give our audience an opportunity to know you and to uh, uh, become familiar with some of the things that uh, you're going to talk about uh, by giving us some information about your background, uh, your education, and some of the things that were important in terms of leading you eventually to uh, Tennessee State University in the uh, Department of Sociology, mm -hmm. Sociology, and then we'll talk about other things. Absolutely, and thank you again. Mm -hmm. um, as you said, my name is E. Kelly Sanford, and I'm an associate professor at Tennessee State University in the Department of Sociology. Mm -hmm. I've been here now one year, mm -hmm. but I have been in the TBR system as a chairperson of the Department of Sociology mm -hmm. at Austin Peay State University mm -hmm. for a number of years mm -hmm. prior to coming to the TSU. Mm -hmm. And I've been so fortunate and happy to, to actually be here. Mm -hmm. But prior to my tenure here at Tennessee State and here within the Tennessee Board of Regents, I was at the University of Montana, um, in Missoula, Montana, mm -hmm. and then prior to there, I was in State College, Pennsylvania, where I did a postdoc degree, NIMH, a National Institute of Mental Health postdoc degree, mm -hmm. at um, the Pennsylvania State University. Mm -hmm. I also taught there in the Africana Studies program for a year before coming to the University of Montana. Mm -hmm. And then prior to that, I think it's very important to know that I was at Howard University in Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. where I received my doctorate degree. Mm -hmm. There I did my dissertation on the homeless elderly. Mm -hmm. And I also worked in the Washington, D.C. area with the National Headquarters of the American Red Cross doing mm -hmm. HIV AIDS education, mm -hmm. research, evaluation, mm -hmm. as well as with the National Headquarters of the American Association mm -hmm. of Retired Persons. Mm -hmm. And prior to that, stint in um, Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. It takes me back to my hometown in Oxford, North Carolina, mm -hmm. where I was born. Mm -hmm. And I did my undergraduate degree at North Carolina Central University. Mm -hmm. Then I did a master's degree at North Carolina Central mm -hmm. University, mm -hmm. as well as, as the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. Mm -hmm. But one of the things I've been interested in while doing that master's degree mm -hmm. was in the sociology of education. And while doing that master's degree, I was interested in how st why students enter into institutions of higher learning and drop out before they obtain their degrees. Mm -hmm. And while working on that master's degree, I did some work at Duke University on um, school desegregation. As you know, we are at the 50th anniversary of Brown versus Board of Education, and I'm very proud to say that I worked on a very powerful research project in relation to that while um, living in North Carolina. Very good. You know, uh, Dr. Sanford, uh, with uh, your background, uh, not only should you be able to give us quite a bit of information relative yes. to uh, higher education at the 21st century, but you have uh, such a wide variety of, of, of careers in a yes. real sense that uh, we can also pull into this whole a uh, object of higher education mm -hmm. in the 21st century. Let's see if we can get uh, some preliminary statements in reference to uh, uh, what it means to uh, talk about higher education mm -hmm. at the 21st century. Exactly what uh, is higher education at the mm -hmm. 21st century? Uh, and then we'll talk about some other aspects after our first commercial break. Absolutely. And that's a very important question mm -hmm. to ask and for us all to be familiar with. Mm -hmm. As we live in this telecommunication society, in, th in today's society of the 21st century, it is very important that we all be aware of the importance of higher education. Mm -hmm. Sociologically, the institution of education is very, was one of the most important institutions within the society in which we live in. Mm -hmm. So from pre-kindergarten to elementary school to junior high school to high school mm -hmm. and then entering into higher education is very important mm -hmm. in this telecommunication society in which we live in. Mm -hmm. So with that, we have to give some very strong consideration to early education, secondary education as we prepare students to enter into institutions of higher learning. And I think it's very important for 
all of us to understand that as well as family members, mm -hmm. as well as professors, um, so we can prepare students mm -hmm. for this new type of technology mm -hmm. that we are going to have to be familiar with and know about as we move mm -hmm. into this, or already in the 21st mm -hmm. century. Well, uh, over the last uh, 20 seconds that we have during this uh, segment, uh, Doctor, yes. would you say that uh, it's almost mandatory that every individual be exposed to higher education in the 21st century, just as every individual probably was exposed to a lower form of education in the 19th and the 20th century. Would that be a good statement? That's an, that's an excellent statement and it's so very true. And, and let us uh, take this commercial break and we'll talk about that when we come back. We'll Absolutely. be back with our... The topic is higher education at the...